One of uh, several different ways of modeling the Earth's structure is using tomato soup and toast. Uh, I particularly like this because what you actually have with the tomato soup is a nice orange color, which mimics the magma that they all have seen in uh, videos of volcanoes. Make sure the soup isn't too thick, otherwise instead of convection currents, you will actually end up with um, localized hot spots um, and it won't work as well. In the center of the soup, we actually use a ball bearing um, that's magnetic in order to show the Earth's core is a magnetic solid. What I'm then going to do is to actually have the toast, which we break up into small sections so that we can actually build a crust up that is actually made up of all of these pieces of crust to make the pattern that will actually um, mimic the Earth's crust pattern. As we heat the whole thing up, what will happen is the convection currents will actually cause some movement within the plates. And so you can see earthquakes at the, earth, at the uh, boundary of the plates as well as, um, as it starts to boil, the um, soup will come up through sections uh, mimicking volcanoes beautifully because often they will actually, as it comes up, it will actually emit little bits of cloud. Now, in terms of safety, obviously you have a large hot object um, balanced on the tripod, so you must be very careful not to knock it over. Um, it's best to use a safety screen. Uh, and secondly, the, there will be some splatters as the soup boils, so probably best to you wear goggles, and if you have the students coming to look at it, get them to wear goggles as well. Today I'm going to model the earth using tomato soup, toast, and a ball magnet. Now the magnet is actually the core of the Earth, which is magnetic, which is why compasses work. That's why we have a north and we have a south. And what I'm actually going to do with that, I'm going to put it into the soup, because surrounding that solid core, we have a liquid mantle. Now on top of <coughs> the liquid mantle, we have crust. And the crust is, it's not just all completely one single section, it's actually split into things that we call plates. And I'm going to model those plates by putting them all together here, just quickly making my model Earth. And at the edges of the plates, we call them plate boundaries. Now we're going to actually see what happens to the Earth, because the thing is, the Earth has not stayed static all the time it's actually been in um, creation. What's actually happened with the Earth is that plates have actually moved. And we're going to look at why those plates move and some of the impact of how those plates have moved has caused. So to do this, I'm actually going to heat up my tomato soup. So I've got my tripod here. I'm going to put my soup on top. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to heat it up. Now, inside the earth, it's very hot. How do we know this? Yep. Magma got magma. Where does, where's magma come from? Volcanoes. It comes from volcanoes. We can see it. When it comes out, it's very hot, right? And what causes that heat is actually radioactive decay. So inside the Earth, we've got radiation, radioactive decay, which is actually heating up the Earth. And what that's actually doing is that's creating in our liquid mantle things called convection currents. Now, these convection currents um, have a big, big effect on the crust. And what it will actually do is, it will cause this crust to move. And what we're actually seeing here is we're seeing some movement of the plates. And what I've got here is, in the middle of it, I've got bits splattering out. Now, if you put your goggles on and come and have a look, right? What have I actually got here? When I've actually got this splattering going on, what's that the same as? That's the same as what? When the magma comes flying out of the earth, yes. That's a volcano. Now, when those plates move next to each other, what actually happens there? Earthquake. That's an earthquake, like the one in Haiti, yeah? So that's actually how we have a model Earth. So center of it, I have a magnetic core. Then I have some liquid, which is liquid because of the heat from the radioactive decay. And on top of that, I have crust that can actually move. And in between the plates, we can see we get volcanoes when the magma comes squirting out of it. Thank you very much, guys. Can you sit down?